So the first important thing, again, as I mentioned, guys, when you're given three zeros is to only take two of the zeros at a time. Don't try to overdo everything. So let's just take, well, first of all, we're going to do, I'm going to write everything equal to x. So I'm going to say x equals 1, x equals 2, and x equals 4. Right? That's your first step. It's very easy. You just take whatever you have, um, Emma, and just set it equal to x. Then you take those and you set them equal to 0 because those came from factors. Your zeros come from factors. So I write subtract 1, subtract 1, subtract 2, subtract 2, subtract 4, subtract 4. What are you no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do two at a time. So I'm just getting like to the next step, and then I'll show you. So x minus 1 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, and x minus 4 equals 0. Right? But you guys can do all this, right? You can do all three of these like this. However, I don't want you to do the multiplying with all three yet. But, so what you guys should understand, though, is this, how we got to this was having these all multiplied to equal 0. So it looked like x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 4 equals 0. And what I told you guys is, to multiply three binomials can be very kind of intimidating, right? So don't multiply all three. Just multiply two at a time. So I told you guys just to multiply these two first, right? So if you just go ahead and multiply these two, I'm actually going to leave this up there. So if you multiply them, if I use a box and I just do x minus 1 and x minus 2, when doing this here, I have x times x, which is x squared. x times neg negative x. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Combine my middle terms, and I get x squared minus 3x plus 2. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these in parentheses. Because now, this is what these two multiplied give you x squared minus 3x plus 2. And that's times x minus 4 equals 0. So now, the last step is now we've got to multiply this by this. So using this box method, now I'm just going to add an extra row or an extra column. I will be moving back over. I've got to be able to write this over. Okay. So I write this as x squared minus 3x plus 2, and then x minus 4. Does everybody see how I created that? All I did is instead of having a binomial, I had a trinomial. So I just add an extra column. Now you do the same thing. Find the area of every box. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 3x is negative 3x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Negative 4 times x squared is negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times 3x is a positive 12x. And negative 4 times 2 is a negative 8. x times x squared. Oh, because remember, remember the rules of exponents we actually discussed? Oh. x times x squared equals x times 1 plus 2. Oh, okay. Do you remember you add the powers? Is everybody okay with my multiplication? Now, there, again, guys, the reason why I like the box method is because look at your diagonals. Those are your like terms. So you can combine your like terms and then write the answer. Now remember, we're not trying to set this equal to 0. We're trying to set this equal to your equation, y, or f of x. So my final answer is f of x equals x cubed, negative 3x squared minus 4x squared is a negative 7x squared, plus 14x minus 8. And that is your final <coughs> answer. These are going to be things I'm going to expect you guys to know how to do.